Hi, so with this, we begin with our Arduino journey. What is Arduino? Arduino is an open source electronic prototyping platform based on flexible and easy to use hardware and software. It is intended to be used by the artists, designers, hobbyists, and anyone interested in creating interactive objects or developing environments. Arduino can sense the environment by receiving inputs from the sensors and interact with the environment by controlling light, motors, and through actuators. So Arduino started its journey in 2005 and that was in Italy. Let's identify the components or parts of the Arduino board. So we start with the microcontroller, the digital pins, the analog input pins, the transmission and receiver LEDs, the reset switch, the USB connector, the USB interface chip, crystal oscillator which is at 16 megahertz, voltage regulator and the power port. For all our experiments we are going to use the Arduino board. So this particularly is the Arduino Uno R3 board and there are many equivalents also available in the market for it. So this is the Atmel microcontroller and since we are going to do a lot of rough and tough work I don't want any of these SMD devices to come out. So we are going to use a prototype shield which comes in this electrostatic jacket. So this is the prototype shield and then it has the breadboard also to connect the external devices. Below it there are many connecting pins which actually go and get clubbed with the UNO board. To power this up we are going to use the USB type A to type B. So we have the USB connected and as soon as we energize it we can see the power LED on. Now let's begin with our experiment. For our first experiment we require LED. We require a 220 ohm resistor and two connecting wires. These have the male connectors at the end. Let's unplug the Arduino board and we'll club it with the prototype shield. So our device is ready and now we wire the circuit as shown in the diagram. Our circuit is ready with pin number 10 connected to the positive of the LED and the other side connected to the ground. Let's see the programming part now. For doing the programming of the Arduino board, we will require Arduino integrated development environment. So for that, we can Google the Arduino IDE and the search results gives us the website from where we can download this IDE. Now this is the Arduino's official website and as soon as we enter the website, it always shows us the latest version of the Arduino. So this is an open source Arduino software and what I do is, since my system is a Windows system, I click on Windows 7 and newer. So it directly starts the download. But before that, it asks whether you would like to contribute. So if I don't want to contribute right now, I can click on just download. Now this, dependent on your network, will take some time. And meanwhile, we can explore it slightly. So suppose if I connect my board to the computer system, Wow, it gives this happy sound. If I disconnect it, it becomes unhappy. Again, a happy sound. So that's the clear indication that the system and the Arduino boards are connected. But to have the both devices communicate with one another, we need a communication port and also the software which is required to do the programming. So once the installation is done, we'll see that part as well. So we are almost done with the downloading part just few more MBs and there we are so we click on it and this begins us with the installation with this our Arduino IDE is installed 
So we double click and open it. So there we are. Now, as soon as we have this, there are two functions. So one is to run the code once and another is to run the code repeatedly. We maximize the screen and I have a slight concern. My keyboard has stopped working. So I'll be using my on-screen keyboard. And meanwhile, I have typed my code. So we'll copy paste it from here. So we'll do some variable declaration and that can be done before the program. So here we start with it. And then we are going to set the pin mode as an output mode. I'm deliberately not introducing this semicolon over here. We'll see what happens. And then in case if you go into the loop, so we're going to set this pin to high and introduce a delay. Now this delay is 1000 right now. So this is like a millisecond. So the LED will glow for a duration of one second. And at the same time, if we have the remaining two portions of the program, so we have uh, the low for another one second. So this completes our program. We'll save it and we'll give it uh, the name maybe first. And then you can type in blinking LED as well. So suppose I do that. we have been able to do it. So we save our first program, which is blinking LED, and then we try to upload it. Now, before that, we would like to check which communication port is being used by our system. So go to this PC, I right click and go to manage to see the port settings. Every PC will try to define the ports on its own. So if I go to device manager, I'll be able to see that yes, the ports segment is on and communication port 3 has been chosen. If at all I remove the device, this is the unhappy sound and I plug it again, that's the happy sound. So I can see my communication port is automatically set to 3. Now this may vary from 3, 7, 6, 9, 25, whatever number the system tries to uh, define it automatically or else even you can do it uh, manually as well. But as of now, we are done with it. And if you see the tools, we can see and select the Arduino, which we are actually using. So there are numerous ones. So I selected for Arduino Uno. And then we try to upload it. But remember, we had deliberately kept an error. So let's see how it behaves. So we try to upload it. It compiles the sketch. And then it says there is some error. Now it actually tells what you need to really use as a token. So we introduce the semicolon, we save our program, and then we try to upload it once again. So there is a communication happening between the system and the Arduino board, and the program is getting compiled and then it will get transferred. So there we are, we have been successful and it's like done uploading. So now let's see how is our Arduino behaving. In case you would like to change the delay, that will actually change the way the LED is going to behave. So if at all you keep it as 500, the LED will be on and off for half a second. So this uh, delay over here is in terms of milliseconds. So let's see how is our Arduino behaving. And as of now, we haven't uh, uh, uploaded the program of half a second. We still have one second program on our microcontroller. There is no requirement of external power source in this case. Uh, merely we have to glow the LED. So the 5 volt supply from the system through the USB is going to be good enough. Here we have our first experimental setup running nicely. So since we had introduced a delay of 1000, that is equivalent to one second in uh, the programming code. So after every one second, the LED turns on and then it turns itself off. So hope you can try it out now and wish you all the best.